Hey, what is going on, Libras? Butch Tarot here. I am going to do uh, your one-week read. It is a general read. Uh, it may not resonate with everyone. Uh, it is for your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus. For all you cross-watchers, roles can be reversed. Always feel free to comment down below. Um, and with all, oh, I'm gonna use the runic tarot. I know a lot of people like to know what I'm using. Um, so with all that being said, let's get it. Universe, what is going on for Libra? What message do we have for Libras? All right, Leavers. The first thing I get is I feel like the energy I'm getting from this is, I, I feel like this is someone that you already know. Um, I don't necessarily feel like this is someone you, you're with, but I do feel like it is someone that it, it seems to be heading that way. You know, or it could just be early on in the relationship because I don't really feel a whole lot of connection yet. Now with this person, I'm getting a weird vibe from this person. I'm getting a very, um, you know, I feel like this person comes off as calm. There's very calm energy with this person, but I feel like underneath it's it's not that at all. You know, I, I feel like it's almost like a role that they're playing. Um, I don't feel like this person is being honest with you. Like I said, I mean, I, I feel like it's almost like the calm before the storm type energy with this person. They, they come off very calm. They come off very collected. Um, but that's not who they truly are. Um, I feel like that's it's more of a ploy to get what they want. I mean, I feel like this person is a, I'm definitely getting like a sales person energy from this person because I feel like it's almost like they promise to show up. They promise to do this. They promise to do that. I don't see them doing it. You know, they're, they're, they're promising a future. I don't see that either. I mean, we have the four ones in reverse. There's no, the, there's no foundation here. The, the foundation is made up of, of lies. You know, I, I I hate to say this, but I mean, I, I, Knight of Wands in reverse is very player energy. You know, I feel like this person is is trying to tell you all the things that you want to hear because I feel like they know what you want to hear. They know what you want. You know what you want. So they're trying to ad lib. They're trying to be that. But even though I, I, I do feel like you already know what I'm telling you right now and I feel like it's going to hit you pretty hard. Um, you know, I feel like you weren't listening to your intuition, but that's exactly what your intuition was telling you. You know, I see this as not listening to your intuition. Um, you know, maybe hoping that this person will change, but I mean, there's a lot of, uh, you know, reversed energy in this. I, I don't see this person changing at all. You know, and I don't feel like this is something that I mean, it's almost like they're trying to convince you to take that leap of faith and just trust them. Um, it's telling me not to do, don't do that. Like, don't, don't fall for that. Why is this so dark? Must be the lighting. Um, but the full in reverse, um, you know, we have the queen of pentacles in reverse. You know, it's not, the, the, this person isn't here to nurture you. This person isn't here 
I mean, we have the Page of Cups in reverse. They're not here to fulfill anything. They're not here to bring anything to the table. Um, you know, they can tell you that they'll fulfill your fantasies. They can tell you that they want a foundation. They can tell you they're going to show up. But all it is is them telling you things. There's no effort here. And like I said, it's a very player energy. Like this person has done this before. You know, they get what they want. And then they're out. And that's exactly what I see with this person. And, and like I said, I feel like this person, once they get what they want from you, um, you know, that hot and cold energy you feel sometimes with this person is only going to get worse. You know, we have, we have that heartbreak and I feel like it, it's not getting any better. You know what I mean? It's not... This is not going to come around and, and, and be something more than it is. You know, I, I, I do feel like you're going to get hurt. You know, and I feel like once they get what they want, I mean, um, there's no more communication. They're going to they're gonna drop you like a bad habit. But before that happens, you know, that, that sounds bad enough in itself. Um, but before that happens, I mean, I... What I do see is I, I feel like part of the game is to do it without you seeing it. You know, that's what I mean by them selling you, you know, ice cubes. They're telling you they're going to do this. They're telling you they're going to do that. They're putting on a very calm front. Um, you know, this person, I mean, they're not even your friend. But they're going to convince you of that. They're going to they're gonna try to fool you and hide what's right in plain sight. You know, and like I said, it, it's a very, I'm getting a very narcissistic vibe. Um, the Justice card in reverse. This person's out of balance. Um, and I feel like this person's been hurt before. You know, we have the ten of, ten of Swords. I feel like because they've been hurt, it's almost like they're lashing out of the rest of the world. Um, you know, and you don't need to be that victim. You know, I don't see any victories here. I mean, with the Six of Pentacles in reverse... You know, I, I don't see any benefit to you. Like I said, I mean, with the Three of Cups in reverse, they're not your friend. There's someone that wants something. And they're portraying what they think that you want. But like I said, I feel like there's there's going to be a hot and cold energy. And there, there might already be that. Um, but the, the hot is going to get... It, the hot's going to cool down, but the cold's going to, you know, freeze you out. And like I said, before that comes to the end of this, you know, I just see a lot of chaos. And one thing that Libras don't like is chaos. You know, uh, my sister's a Libra and I know a few other Libras and they're all about being peacekeepers. You know, they want, they don't want any drama, but this is all drama. You know, this, this is all this person brings to the table is drama. Um, it's kind of like what they thrive off of. Um, you know, it's the trickster energy. It's not nurturing. It's not there for you when you need it. It's, it's actually the opposite. You know, uh, with the Aquarius energy in reverse, you know, they're not here to help. They're not here to bring anything to the table. They're here to get what they want and get out. And the Magician in reverse is that trickster energy. Like I said, um, when it comes to that, I this is how I try to describe this in the best way possible is that trickster energy is you have a Magician. And because it's a magician, we're going to use the magician. But you have a magician. He's showing you something up here while he's sneaking around doing something back here. That's the trick. They don't want you to see what's going on back here. So they're back here doing this. And it's back here. No matter whether you see it or not, it's back there. And that's the trickster energy. Here, I love you. And I want to be with you. And I'm going to give you everything. Here, I don't want a damn thing. I just want to get what I want and get out. I'm not bringing anything to the table. I'm not offering you anything. I'm just offering you a buttload of lies. Um, but like I said, I mean, I, I feel like this comes to a comes to a conclusion once they get what they want. And I feel like you're going to get hurt because I feel like... I feel like this person... That's the worst part that I... The very narcissistic energy that I feel in this person is not only do they want to get what they want and not care about anybody else, but I feel like they also enjoy the pain that they're going to cause. And I know that's hard to say about somebody, but that's what I feel with this person. I feel like they enjoy that. 
and it's almost like getting even for whatever whoever hurt them um, but like I said it's, it's they have this very calm energy to them but that's not who they are that's not who they are at all um, you know with this person we have Gemini Libra Aquarius you know we have some Cancer and some Scorpio He has some fire as well. Some Aries Sagittarius. And Earth, Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. What I need to, I mean, that was not a great read. But sometimes the truth is not always what we want to hear. Um, but what we need to take from this for those who it resonates with, is the fact that, you know, seeing the truth allows you to accept the truth, which allows you to move on knowing the truth. You know, sometimes things aren't gonna work out the way we want it to, but the sooner we can figure that out, the sooner we can move on to something that will. You know, for every person, if you think of it this way, for every person that you dated that wasn't the right person, you can check them off the list. And I know there's a big list in the world, a lot of people. But we need to look at the silver linings. We need to take what we what we gained and move on. You know, some people aren't going to be good people. Some people, like I said, I feel like this person has been hurt, and I feel like it's almost like they made a self, you know, um, a self conscious decision, or it could be conscious. I I don't know. Um, but they made a decision to never put themselves in that predicament again. They put themselves in, you know, and, and maybe someday somebody's going to change them, change them back. And, and I hope they do. Um, but I don't think that's going to be you. Because like I said, I feel like they're still in, in the midst of that marshy gloom area where they're, they're still hurt. And they're still lashing out of the world like a child. You know, a little tantrum tantrum. And, and in, the, in that moment instead of being a good person and, and just moving on, I mean, they're finding people, other people to hurt, people other to take advantage of, people that, you know, they get to know you and they get in and they figure you out. But remember that with these people, they're very good at what they do because they're always on the, on the, on the you know, they're always on the defense. They're always, they're always one step ahead of you, you know, and, and like I said, it's, they know where to, they're always on defense and they also know where to hit you offensively. You know, they, they play defense until they figure you out and then they go on the offense. They figure out your weaknesses. They figure out what you want. Or they figure the things you like. I mean, these people are malicious. They're nonstop. I, I, I met a a girl um, before my ex and she was like that like she went out of her way to get to know me she knew what what made me tick she knew things about me that like she must have had to do her research to figure figure some of these things out and she used it all against me like she figured out what I liked and she pretend, pretended like she liked it um, she figured out what I didn't like and she pretended like she didn't like it you know, um, I mean, it was, like, I remember this one time she was at my house and I had to go to the store and I came back and she was in the back room and I usually, it was kind of like a little office space and I had books and stuff there. And then it was like the next day or the day after she started talking about like how her favorite book was this certain book. And I don't, I didn't have a lot of books. It wasn't like a library, like fancy people have. It was just like a few books. And I was like so amazed that she knew what this book was. But so what she did is she found this book and it had, um, you know, it had one of those um, page keepers, whatever they're called. I don't know why I can't figure it. Bookmark. It had, a, it had a bookmark in it. And anyway, she went and must have bought the book and read it that quickly. 
just to just to just to be on you know get under my guard and when people do that they get under your guard because you're thinking okay well maybe they really like me they they like the same things she even read this book that i really like like it's she was good she was good i didn't i actually ca caught on pretty quickly though i was pretty proud of myself it was a couple days later i remember i was in that in my office and i was like I was looking up and I seen that book and it had a bookmark in it. And it was a book that um, I really enjoyed. And it was like the third time I read it. And I was looking at it and I was thinking, she was in here the other day. Did she see that? I don't know. And, and then and then I was just thinking like, and she mentioned other books. And, and I mean, I think I had like six or seven books and three of them she mentioned. So she did really well by reading the one book that I was on, but I asked her about another book that she had said she liked. And I said, what did you like about it? And that her story started to fall apart and she knew she was caught. And you know what she did? She never talked to me again because she was exposed. And that's what we need to do with people like this. We need to expose them. You know, it's, maybe it's not their fault that they're the way they are, but sure as hell isn't our fault. Anyway, be good. Take care. Stay safe.